it's been a little while since I've picked up the camera. I hope you guys have been well since I last filmed. Coming back onto YouTube and back picking up my camera again in a bit of a different space. I don't really know, like I've been thinking the past couple of days about how I'm going to address this and I don't want to make it a bigger deal than it needs to be but at the same time I feel like I need to address things because things are going to be a little bit different. I feel like there's no other way to go around it but without talking about the whole thing um, I think it's important to acknowledge that I have recently ended uh, my relationship. Uh, my relationship ended pretty much like two weeks ago. Yeah, it was just a very crappy situation and definitely not how I expected things to end. Probably the worst way it could have ended, probably, um, in a lot of ways. It was such a shock and I have had a lot of time just grieving um, and there's going to be a long road to me healing. I don't know, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I just feel like I need to acknowledge it because I did share a bit of that part of my life on the internet and because it was such a long-term relationship too, I kind of, I don't know, I guess I increased what I shared a little bit because I really did think that was going to be a really, really long time that that person would be in my life. As I said, such a shock. It's been a lot, a lot of processing and definitely the hardest breakup I've ever gone through mentally, physically, everything. Like it's just been such a tough two weeks, week in particular. And yeah, these things just really suck. Um, and I'm filming this when I'm in a less emotional state than I have been. Like this morning was so, so rough for me. I was actually going to start filming this morning, but I have been waking up in the worst possible way. Like I just, I can't seem to grapple the mornings yet. Like the mornings are where it kind of hits me a little bit more, I think. I don't really know what else to say. There's just a lot of grieving. There's a lot of healing to do. Um, because this person was my best friend before our relationship even started. It was almost two and a half years. So out of the blue, so shocking, like the whole thing, honestly. Um, but yeah, when you've started off as best friends, we've always just been really close and kind and loving to one another. Um, but then when this happens, it's kind of like, what do you do? You know, you've just lost almost two people, I guess. And in that too, you lose a whole circle of people um, because we'd made some really good between the two of us. Like we had a lot of couple friends and um, their family as well. I feel like I've just lost a lot of really meaningful connections and that's such a, I don't know, such a weird thing to go through. Like I haven't been eating, sleeping, like it's really rocked my whole body. I think that just goes to show where my head was at. But yeah, nothing, nothing really else to say. It's just a really crappy situation and a really crappy thing to deal with. It's really hard to lose someone that's still alive, like to grieve a person that is still here on earth. I don't know, the whole concept of healing from someone that's absolutely ripped your core to shreds but is still here like it just I don't know it's a very strange thing I really want to try and get back into some things because I think the hardest thing for me is just stopping all the things that I normally do like I'm not eating not cooking not you know doing a lot of the things that I normally do and one of that is picking up the camera and I need to be authentic to myself still because I'm not going to be as energetic every day I'm probably going to struggle through a lot of days still um, and that's going to take a little while for me to come to terms with and deal with. Talking to you guys on the internet is one of the things that grounds me. I love doing so I feel like I need to kind of get back into it to be able to feel like I've got some things going for me in a way. But yeah I hope you can understand that. I feel like that's enough information for you guys to understand where I'm at but also to respect the privacy of the other person still and yeah just kind of 
say as much that needs to be said. I feel like this just needed to be done in the most appropriate way possible and I hope that I've done that. I'm gonna try my best and see what I can do vlog wise. I don't know what this video is gonna be so it'll be interesting once I get to editing this to see what it's actually like. It's gonna be a very different couple of weeks to what I was expecting. This is a part of my life. I'm going to stay true to how I'm feeling and what's going on for me. Um, and hopefully some of you guys feel a little bit of comfort in that, that I don't know, there's not many people that I see online that are like going through this kind of stuff. I think it can be really comforting to see other people go through what you're going through or what you've just been through or whatever. I actually, um, remember Connor, um, talking a bit about this maybe a year or so ago and I went and watched some of her videos again um, and her words just were really comforting so hopefully that's what I can kind of provide through the next couple of weeks of content see where we go see where the journey leads I just yeah need to get through this heal I'm trying to allow my emotions to like fully come out um, like I've cried to work from work like cry in the car cry everywhere and I'm just really trying to hit myself with the feels so that I can process all of that get those emotions out hopefully eventually start living my life again and living for me I'm sure I'll have more to say as I process things and I would love to be able to um, help some of you guys and give some of my tips and whatnot once I've gone through it um, because I feel like when you're in the headspace of being really emotional and sad and grieving, it's very hard to come from a knowledgeable, I want to help you point of view, I guess. We'll see how we go. But anyway, that's all I'm going to say for now. It's been a long chat, but very overdue. I am going back to work this afternoon. I work this morning. Um, and yeah, I need to actually quickly hop in the shower, get changed for work do the afternoon shift. We've got a meeting after work tonight, so it's going to be a bit of a late night and I'm not looking forward to it. Um, work has been really hard for me to, I don't know, it's not very distracting for me. Like it kind of gives me more time to think. I don't know. It's just very hard to be out in public mixing with people, especially kids. <laughs> like this morning I was just not there. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you deserve way better than my emotional self right now. I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow or the next day if we're not having a good day tomorrow. Let's be honest. <laughs>
which I feel like is a bit of a normal thing when you're going through something like this but yeah I honestly like I eat because I need to not because I want to. I've had very few times in the past like week and a half of actually feeling hunger. If I didn't remember I wouldn't probably eat and I'm just trying to eat little bits where I can and I'm trying to slowly get back into yeah my really full nutritious meals. There's so much stuff in the background. Sorry, I got distracted by my own mess. But yeah, I wanted to have another chat after yesterday. Yesterday was a very emotional day for me. One of the worst ones I've had in the past week. And I think that's very fair. And if you are going through something similar, I hope you know that it's okay to have days like that. Because like honestly, yesterday to work, cried, after work, cried on the way home. After the gym, cried, like, honestly. Then came home after work last night and just bawled my eyes out. Like yesterday was such a big day for me. And even at work, I was like really, really struggling. Like every now and then it's just like a wave kind of comes over you and you like remember all these things and your brain just starts like firing all these thoughts. That was really hard. But I really, like I said yesterday, I really want to try and get back into my groove of things whilst also being kind to myself you know if I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling it I think I more so just wanted to explain things in the sense that I don't fully feel like myself right now like I don't feel like myself sorry I just had to change my SD card but yeah I have never gone through something like this before and I think that comes down to the fact that I was in a really solid long-term relationship I didn't definitely didn't think things were gonna end like they did um but also I was just in a really good place with this person um and just feeling like that's how it could end like I could happily do that forever it was a very committed relationship um but also at the end of the day I need to remember whilst I have had multiple relationships before that I was there first so I feel like you do a lot of growing in your first relationship. Yeah, maybe for me, I was a little bit more set on what I needed and wanted. Anyway, regardless, it's shocked the system. But yeah, I was just kind of thinking like last night, I was like, oh, I have to edit this. Like, mm, that's gonna be really awkward to watch this all back. And I don't know, have this go up on the internet. I really do want to do this and share this part with you. One, because it's my life, but two, because I honestly love when people post their real raw selves, when they're talking about real emotions, stuff that they're going through, the, the non-glamorous side of things, when life isn't easy. And I really resonate with that. Like I would much prefer to watch those kind of videos as compared to like, you know, oh my God, life is amazing. I'm traveling the world, Do you know? Whilst they are fun to watch, don't get me wrong. Um, I just really enjoy hearing about people's real lives and I really want to make an effort to share this side with you guys because I know that when this first happened to me I was looking for kind of comfort from other people going through similar things um, and wanting to hear these things so hopefully this helps someone out there um, that was in a position very similar to myself, but it's scary. This person could watch these videos very easily and I don't know, I feel like there's a very big, you know, not stigma, but like perception that, you know, you need to really, really quickly get over it and look like you're doing really well. And you know, posting stuff on social media that's like, ah, I'm living my best life. So glad you're gone. But it's like, that's not how it needs to be and I don't think that's very realistic because you're grieving, you're healing, there's a lot going on and I just don't think it's possible <laughs> to be like that. Um, especially when you had all the investment and the feelings and all that stuff. So yeah, it's very scary that this is going to be online and people can watch you struggle and not feel great, you know, when you want to be telling people, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. That's my thought diary for the day. I have a bit to do today um, before I go to work. I'm actually going into work a bit earlier today. I need to finish my resignation letter um, and do a bit of like job stuff and I need to tidy this room because it is an absolute mess. Just like my dumping ground and I think that also impacts my mental space too. Like this is such a mess and 
is stressing me out. And I also want to reply to some emails, so hopefully I can get all of that done today um, and get through work today because, yeah, work, I don't know. I thought it would be a great distraction for me, but I go there and it kind of makes me sadder, probably because of the workplace. Let's get through Wednesday. I also got this surprise package from Billbong. I had no idea I was getting it. How cute are these new little togs? Look at my tan lines. Gross. And this little cover up so nice like it feels really good the lighting is not very good sorry about that and the togs are that really nice i don't know what this material is called but it feels really good a little bucket hat moment and then like this little cool bag that's so cute i love that this would be so good for the camping trip i was supposed to be going on that i organized was my idea but now i'm doing it to go on which is gonna suck, but yeah, I'm sure I'll find somewhere to wear these. Hello guys, it is Thursday afternoon. I thought this vlog might be a little bit jumpy and less cohesive, which it is. Sorry about that. Yeah, weird times, it's been um yeah i don't know a bit of a weird 24 hours i don't even remember when the last time i spoke to you properly was but um yeah today i have just been getting work done i went back to pilates this morning which was good saw some family went for a walk had physio today um yeah got a lot of work done which is good and i also handed in my resignation letter for one of my jobs which is a big relief. That's a whole nother ballpark. Yeah, very excited to leave that toxic work environment. Um, and I'm very proud of myself for knowing that it just isn't right for me and my mental space. And yes, as you know, my mental space is what I am all about at the moment. Um, and yeah, just trying to get myself feeling good again. <sighs> After all of this schmozzle, um, I've been craving like a bit of a self-care evening and I decided I'm gonna do that today it's like 5 30 I've finished work for the day and I'm gonna have a bath my muscles are really sore from being back at the gym this week but um, I think it'll just be really good for my heart and my soul to do something like this I'm gonna run a bath put some magnesium in there have a really nice dinner tonight I want to do some journaling because uh, I didn't get to finish this morning read a book have a really relaxing night in um watch some tv or something i think that will be really nice and i thought i'd bring you along for that this is just one of the phases of the season i'm in in terms of healing and i feel like this will be a really good thing to do so let's have a relaxing night guys i am actually about to go to bed i'm just gonna watch um some netflix before i go to sleep my comfort show at the moment is gilmore girls i've started from the start again i just feel like it's such a wholesome show and it also is a lot of like women empowerment i don't know i really like it yeah i ended up spending a lot of time tonight just hanging out with my mum, which was nice i thought i was going to have a really extensive like I don't know chill night in by myself but i'm just soaking up all the opportunities to hang out with my family at the moment i'm gonna call it a day and i'm going to end off this vlog here i don't know what this is not sure if i will approve of my decision to end off this vlog when i go to edit it but as i'm sure you guys can understand just bear with me as i kind of navigate this myself and navigate what I'm doing kind of thing. I feel like it's going to take me a little while to find my feet maybe. Um, 
on just to know what I'm doing because I feel like yeah my days have been a bit up and down as you can probably expect. I just want to get back into filming normal content. I want to get back into doing the stuff that I want to do. But yeah you guys have been so so lovely and supportive in my last video before this and on Instagram and yeah you guys are just so so beautiful and I'm so grateful more than ever to have such a supportive and beautiful online community I feel like that's something super special that I'll never ever take for granted but yeah we'll see what happens in the coming weeks and yeah see how I go with picking my camera I definitely want to do more of a life update Q&A type video when I've got a little bit more confidence and and I'm just feeling a little bit more myself um and also still do some of these healing focused videos because from the messages that I've gotten a lot of you have been through very similar situations and hopefully we can all kind of help each other out some really yeah calming I guess videos for those feeling the same and if you are watching this and you are going through a breakup and yeah are going through these emotions um yeah, I hope you enjoy I hope you feel comfort in knowing that you're not alone and that all of your feelings are valid and as I think I said earlier I'm really excited for when I've come out of this a little bit more and I can kind of see the situation for what it is rather than just being guided by emotions and I've got like some more tips and whatnot for you guys because right now I'm just trying to get myself through it and then once I've gotten over the big hurdle I don't even think I'm making sense anymore I'm just retired good night guys I will talk to you very soon bye